hello guys how are you I hope everybody's fine and uh, welcome in this new video which will be in fact uh, about a case which has been already solved in uh, ARS uh, server the guy here requests a bin file to be extracted from this executable file it's a Lenovo BIOS executable update file downloaded from Lenovo supports and this guy here has already extracted the binary file from that one but I'd like to share in this video a super cool tool that we can use when extracting uh, the binary files in from the from Lenovo executable update files uh, to extract the BIOS file from this kind of files we need to get first what is known as .fd files this one so we need that file first from which we can extract the uh, final binary file that we can use with our programmer so without losing any more time let's download and this executable file first let's put it put it in our for in our desktop in a folder which I will name demo yes demonstration why not open save so we have we have our file here uh, let's go to Google and let's download the tool that I'd like to share with you in this video in fact I have already uh, installed that tool uh, in my PC I use it a lot to extract uh, uh, binary files or .fd files for Lenovo files uh, and the tool is uh, Eno Extractor without any space and you go it, you hit enter and you go to the first result which would be uh, like this and you download the tool put it in the same folder let's open our folder let's extract it here so let's delete the RAR file we don't need it anymore so as the installation takes less than 10 seconds let's do it again why not I have it already installed but let's do that together you keep things as default and you uh, ins you install the tool and you click finish here and here you have the tool so uh, let's go back and let's delete this folder we don't need it anymore and here's the file from which we need to extract the dot fd file we just drag it here and we check the biggest file according to the size so here we have this one and this one are 7 mega they are in fact in the same size let's extract the first one by dragging it here let's extract the second one okay so one folder only is generated there so it may contain the both yes let's check if these two files are identical which I think so because I already have encounter encountered like this case in which I got two f identical files here with this tool I don't know why they are two identical let's analyze these by our hex editor if they are identical then so we they are identical so we need only to keep one of them let's delete the second one let's close this we don't need it anymore now with the right click you extract 
this executable file you delete the executable file you open the folder and you have the dot fd file here let's with control x cut it from here and put it in the main folder here now we don't need these two so we got our dot fd file which if you open it with your hex editor it looks like a bios file yes if you uh, have for example uh, damp original damp you can you can use the footer or and the header to locate the block which you will extract manually using hex editor which which uh, our friend here has done well here in this video this guy yes he has shared the video showing how he did it so you can check that video if you're interested mm, me in this video i'm going to show another way of extracting the the binary file from .fd file using uh, a tool that can be found in github this one so our friend Ain has mentioned it here it's called inside image extractor so you go here inside image extractor I don't use spaces and I can add github to get to get it in the first sorry inside inside with y not i again enter here we are the first result we have we are in the uh, latest version let's download the windows version here and put it in the same folder yes go back to our folder let's close these downloads let's go back to our folder yes now extract this one here so let's delete the rar file we don't need it anymore let's uh, cut this from here and put it in the main folder and let's remove this empty folder so we have our extractor and we have the .fd file what we need now is to fire the cmd command prompt as administrator yes and we need to go to our working folder by typing cd percentage user profile another percentage space desktop so our folder working folder is on desktop and the name of the folder is demo enter we are now here in this folder we just type extractor we don't need the dot exe space followed by bios dot fd this file and space followed by the output name you can call it whatever you want let's call it azerte why not dot bin and enter bingo you have your 16 megabyte file here and with a header and a footer so here is the signature of the bios file so that's it i hope uh, it's clear and let's check the partitions of this file yes we 
have the right partitions and let's analyze it why not with me analyzer we have and the me is configured and everything is fine this file can be used to flash our bios i hope i was clear and if any question you can ask me better to tag me in this server and please not in direct message because i just ignore them even if i i read the message in dm i ignore them i uh, most of the time don't answer uh, messages concerning repairs so if any question you can tag me in this folder uh, in general or if it's related to repair case you can use the uh, appropriate channel uh, following the rules of the server and everybody's welcome to ask any question and at any time it doesn't matter for me as far as you don't uh, use direct messages so i hope everything is clear and that most of you have learned something new and don't forget that share is power so uh, if anybody has something to share with us in this server you are welcome and in return you will uh, get a lot of information in this beautiful server i hope we will see each other in uh, the next video and that will be sooner i hope so and uh, before leaving i would like to say that i will put the download links for the tools that i used here in the description of the video so you can uh, directly download using those links and it's the end bye bye and see you in the next video uh, please if any command uh, don't hesitate to uh, mention any uh, mistake or anything uh, that's related to my videos because i never uh, checked them before uploading i just upload the video as far as i finished it i upload it to my youtube channel so it may contain uh, mistakes which i'd like uh, to be mentioned if any so please don't hesitate to mention any mistake and that will be uh, super cool for me to correct the mistake and thank you for watching bye bye see you in the next video